Hello again, fellow beer lovers. Today is a very good day, and it's because I get to try out one of my favorite new beers. It's called Weldwerks, or Weldwerks Brewing, Coffee Coconut Stout. Now, Weldwerks, well, I don't know if they're trying to say uh, um, a factory where welders uh, make things, but Welt is a, a, a meadow and or a or a field, and Vex is is works or a factory like uh, Bayerische Motorwerk is the Bavarian Motor Works, also known as BMW. Um, but uh, when I say this is one of my favorite new beers, I'll tell you what I got a four pack of these, and this is my fourth one, and I'm finally getting around to reviewing it for all y'all. And man, is it good. Coffee Coconut Stout. Now, those of you that have been following me for a while know that I, that I like uh, some flavored porters and stouts with uh, things such as coffee and peanut butter and chocolate and coconut and vanilla and a few other things. Man, doesn't that just look delicious. I'm here to tell you it is. I'm going to break with tradition and go straight to the tasting. It was pretty full and I was pretty thirsty. Um, so we'll dispense with, with um, appearance for now. Um, and, and aroma for that matter. You know, you taste the coffee right away. And so in some ways, you know, it, it's definitely similar to like a, a surly coffee bender. But this has coconut in it. Which melds really well with that coffee and and with the otherwise normal you know chocolatey and malty flavors uh, that come out of uh, a good stout. You can smell the vanilla. I'm sorry. You can smell the coconut more than you can taste it. But yeah, the coconut definitely comes, it hits you at the end of a very long finish. And this is so, so good. You need to go and get you some of this. I'm not even sure where it's made. Greeley, Colorado. But I bought it in Osseo, Minnesota. So, um, it's very dark. has a good creamy head on it. And lacing is extensive, as you can see on the sides of the glass. So what might this pair well with? Well, this time of year, you might have this while you're roasting marshmallows, having s'mores, or roasting anything out around, you know, out back. Um, but, you know... Um, it could also be a good um, dessert beer where you could have this with some triple chocolate cake or something like that. I had a beer a few years ago. It was pretty pretty cool. You know, sometimes the stuff they say on the on the side of the can or on the side of the um, the um, cardboard. Uh, six-pack holder that they come in some of the stuff's pretty funny and uh, there's one where it was a, a stout I think um, it was a dark beer and they were talking about pairings and uh, they'd mentioned a couple of pairings and then they said it and even it would even go well with a well-crafted PB and J and then there was an asterisk and you look at the bottom and it defines a well-crafted PB and J for you and it was saying, 
that um, a well-crafted peanut butter and jelly sandwich is made with um, natural peanut butter and with uh, blackberry preserves and um, and sourdough bread. And you know what I did? The next day I went out and I bought all the ingredients so that I could have one of those with my stout. And man, you know what? You'd be surprised. Really, really, a really excellent pairing. So uh, try that, you know. Grab you one of these and make yourself a well-crafted PB&J. And make one for a friend while you're at it. And then uh, go ahead and post, make some comments on the page. And don't forget to get your friends to subscribe, all right? Until next time, cheers.